This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Right, well, I think the camel's back has finally been broken. Now, it's been fractured for quite some time now. And finally, after today, after the two announcements that I've seen so far, I think the back has been totally broken as far as the WBC is concerned. So, you guys have been saying this for quite a few months. So, I think maybe it's time that I joined the party rather than keep on giving the WBC the benefit of the doubt about potentially doing the right thing because they just seem incapable of it. So, I think the only way that the WBC are actually going to listen now and actually do things in a positive way and do things in the way that fans want boxing to be is for people to start showing them exactly that we're unhappy and that means putting your foot down and that means doing things that we feel uncomfortable doing in the sense of boycott the WBC. Now I'm talking not right now of course, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt until January. So January the 1st we're just going to start boycotting the WBC or at least I will be. I will not be covering any WBC sanctioned bouts on this channel. And I encourage all other uploaders to do the same. Listen, you don't have to. And I know a lot of people say, but there's nothing that we can do. They're just going to do whatever they're going to do. And yeah, okay, you're probably absolutely correct. Now, I don't have the megaphone on my own. Obviously, I need all you guys and every other uploader out there and all the boxers as well. I need the boxers and the promoters to actually make a stand. Grow some balls and say, you know what? Enough is enough now. We should be hashtagging. WBC Boycott 2020. In other words, from January the 1st in 2020, and we will do this for a continued year until they actually make the changes and stop being stupid. Examples. Franchise champion. Absolute garbage. Now, I'm a Canelo fan. I'm a Lomachenko fan also. And I don't agree with these franchise things because what they've done is they have made it now impossible for Sal Canelo Alvarez and Lomachenko to become undisputed by installing them as franchise champion. Listen, let's not give them entirely the blame here. Let's also blame Lomachenko and Canelo as well, because they didn't have to accept this, or I'm presuming not, unless they were given an alternative. Well, we're going to strip you anyway, so you might as well accept the franchise thing. Maybe. But the WBC have been making a mockery of boxing for a long, long time. And unfortunately, with just like all sanctioning bodies, they don't report to anybody. They just don't. I wish that there was a universal governing body where all sanctioned bodies have to report to, but there just isn't one. How do you create one? I have absolutely no idea. It's going to take some influential people with some very deep pockets. That's what's going to happen. Now, I understand that all sanctioning bodies, ultimately, it is a business for them. These guys do need, need to make money. And nobody's trying to stop them from making money. But this is just about the WBC for now. So WBA, IBF, WBO, you are not off the hook. You guys have way too many belts and you guys also make stupid, stupid decisions. So once we finish with the WBC, we're going to come for you unless you guys start reducing the amount of belts that you've got and start doing things the right way. I.e. for all of them, start creating some proper rankings. No more favouritism, WBO, with Bob Arum and Frank Warren. No more favouritism, WBC, with the PBC. No more of this now. I personally have had enough now. Um, this whole Dillian White situation as well. Whether you like Dillian White, whether you don't like Dillian White, let's be fair. What's fair is fair, and what's right is right. And what's justice should be made as justice. Because he's been number one now for approaching two years and the news today where he's not going to get a world title fight for another 16 months in february 2021 is taking the piss is it not isn't that too much that's that's going to be him three and a half years as wbc number one without a world title fight when wilder is allowed to run around and go fight whoever he is again this is not about wilder again it's not entirely his fault is it he he's going to do what he's allowed to do the WBC, if they're not stopping it, then why shouldn't he go fight whoever? I wouldn't blame him. If I was in his position, I would do the same thing. But there again, I'm not a fighting man like these guys are supposed to be. The WBC, their ranking system is full of PBC fighters. They have a guy working on them or working for the WBC who's on the Supreme Council and also runs the Barclays Center in New York and also works for Al Heyman's company as well. Brett Yormark. 
that seems like a conflict of interest. Is this ever going to be addressed? I'm not saying that he's a corrupt guy. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying from the outside looking in, it looks like certain things are going on that just isn't right. Going back to the franchise thing as well. Canelo, Lomachenko can no longer ever become undisputed champion. There's that one. And they just give a belt to Jamal Charlo. They just give a belt to Devin Haney. I like both these guys. But let's be honest. They should have fought somebody credible to become champion. As in, fight for a vacant belt against the number two ranked. That's how it should be. Correct? So, from now on, every single one of my videos going forward... It's going to have the hashtag WBC boycott 2020 on it. I want these guys to know. I want everybody to know. I want all you guys to go to all the comment sections of all the videos that you watch and write down hashtag WBC boycott 2020. Do all this kind of thing. Go on social media about it. Copy the link to this video. Spread it around. It's too much. Boxers out there. As I said before, please grow some balls. Defend yourselves. Promoters, managers, whoever, come out and say something. Say, we are going to pull ourselves out from all future WBC sanctioned bouts until the WBC start doing the right thing. That's what you need to do. And anybody who don't do it, then I'm going to consider you part of the problem. You need to stand up for yourselves. Otherwise, the WBC are going to carry on messing people up. Do you guys agree with what WBC are doing with Dillian White? If you don't agree, then say something. Because if you don't say something, then it's, it looks like you totally agree. Every time you guys, guys go onto social media or the live streams or any videos that you watch, whether it's this channel or, or any other channel, just write down hashtag WBC boycott 2020. Because from January the 1st, I personally, and I hope a lot of you guys join me as well, where we will not be talking or covering any more WBC sanctioned bouts. We're talking not just world champion, we're talking all the way down to the interim champions, the international champions, and any other kind of WBC sanctioned bouts that they have. I encourage you guys to not buy tickets for the shows where a WBC fight is happening, whether it's world title or whether it's a international title, whatever the case may be. Do not buy a ticket to any show that has a WBC sanctioned bout on it. No more putting money into their pockets. I want the likes of Eddie Hearn to come out and say something. Yeah, let's boycott the WBC because these guys are just taking the absolute biscuit. That's what I want. Is it going to happen? No, of course not because these guys, they're all worried about, well, maybe one of my fighters could fight for this and maybe they could do this and maybe they could do that. You know, Mauricio Suleiman is a nice guy and everything. Listen, Mauricio Suleiman may well be a nice guy, but I couldn't give a toss. He's making stupid decisions or he's allowing other people to overrule what he wants. I don't know what it is, but he needs to have a, a, a complete overhaul of this one. I want the WBC to... They have their rules, they have their regulations, and I want them to instill them into their champions. If you are WBC champion, then you will fight your mandatory within a 12-month period. These are the rules, and they should be enforced. No more, well, you can go fight whoever you want, and you know what, one day we might just have an interim world champion or a mandatory at some point. We're going to deal... No, no, no. You are going to insist that your WBC champion has one mandatory fight within a 12-month period. You're going to enforce it. And if your champion does not, then you will strip them regardless of who they are. Again, the WBC, what they've done with Dillian White. He's still going through this case with UCAD. Even though he's passed all of VADA, which is the WBC protocol, and they have put on hold or suspended Dillian White's position as interim world champion and mandatory challenger until all this is resolved when what they should have done was left it alone and then make a decision once it's all resolved because again they're making it look guilty on the flip side of that when canelo when he used the tainted uh, meat as um, an excuse for finding peds in his system what did the wbc do they come out and they said well we stand by canelo anyway so again you're being totally two-faced yes the wbc did hit Canelo with a, um, a six-month suspension, which happened to coincide by the time that suspension is lifted is when he's going to be fighting anyway. So he wasn't really suspended because he wasn't going to fight anyway for those six months. 
They're two-faced. I think people should boycott the WBC. And again, I know people go, yeah, but you know what? We can't do anything about it. It is what it is. No, okay? Nothing ever gets done by people having that attitude. On every single one of my videos going forward, there will be a hashtag WBC boycott 2020. From January the 1st, I ain't going to be covering or watching any more WBC sanctioned bouts. If there's a very good card on that I want to watch and there happens to be a WBC sanctioned bout on it, I will watch all the card, but when that fight is on, I will switch channels. And when that fight is finished, I'll go back to it and watch the rest of the card. And I don't want to do this. I want to make videos saying how the WBC are great and how the WBC are doing this and WBC are doing that. The WBC, they are even making their judges and referees take PED tests and alcohol tests. I couldn't give a toss whether these guys are as high as a kite. As long as they're making the right decisions on fight night, I couldn't care less what they're doing. I don't care if the referee or the judges have had a couple of beers. I couldn't care less if they've been snorting some cocaine. I don't care. Again, the WBC, they need to make their judges and their referees accountable for what it is that they do. They are employed, so therefore, there should be some kind of consequences if you're messing up. WBC needs to stop showing favoritism. Mauricio, I've invited you on this channel once before and you totally ignored it. So I'm going to reach out my hand again. Come on and I'll ask you all the questions. Don't bottle it. I'm not going to start shouting at you. I want to know certain answers to certain questions. And you should be able to provide those. And believe me when I tell you, I will not accept bullshit. I won't. And I'll tell you. And you as a president of an organization you should want that you should want feedback rather than yes men around you all the time i'm not saying i have all the answers of course i don't there's plenty more knowledgeable people out there on boxing than what i am there's plenty more powerful people certainly than what i am my channel is a small it's not even a percent as um, as far as the um, boxing world is concerned but it's still a megaphone and we will keep on pushing this boycott the WBC until the WBC hear it. And we will keep on going with this one. As I said, on every single video, you will see at the top of every single video from today onwards, you will see the hashtag WBC boycott 2020 in it. I want all other uploaders to do it as well. I'm not asking you to go out and make a video on this specific subject. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you get... Within all your videos, you get to put three hashtags in the description box, which will pop up at the um, or at the very top of your title. Just make sure one of those is hashtag WBC Boycott 2020. If I see people not doing it, then I'm going to presume that you are part of the problem, that you don't care. Surely you will care. If you're already a boxing fan, you care. It doesn't matter whether or not your favorite fighter is currently a WBC champion. It's not the point. And it's not about Dillian White. It's not about the franchise. It's about a whole host of things. So again, final time, Mauricio Suleiman. In, I will invite you to come on this channel to have a chat. I'll invite you for it. I'll be very friendly. I'll be very professional. But I want to know the answers to many of the questions that we have. I want to do that. And I want the likes of Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, Bob Arum, all these kind of guys to actually come out and say, you know what, we're going to boycott the WBC until they start doing things correctly. But we, we know they ain't, because they've got a horse in the race, haven't they? Well, we might want to work with them, you know what, we're going to work with them behind scenes. No, 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 I want to make everything transparent. I want to know exactly what's going on. No more hiding, no more pretending, no more, well, you know what, we're going to deal with it. I don't want to hear it. I want to, I want to hear these guys say, yes, we're going to boycott. We are not going to put any WBC sanctioned bouts on our fight cards. And yes, it's not going to be good for a lot of these people because some of these people do actually have some WBC champions on there, whether they be an international right the way up to a world champion. So no, it's not ideal. And yes, it's going to upset that fighter. But again, all boxes out there, every single one of you guys, I want you guys, every time that you put out a Twitter post or on Instagram, whatever it may be, even if it's nothing related to the WBC, you know, you've just sat down, you've had some breakfast, you took a photo, you put it on social media. You put all your hashtags in, make sure one of those hashtags is WBC Boycott 2020. It's not difficult, is it? 
You need to make a stand. You need to make a stand. Ideally, some of the top fighters out there. But again, they're not going to. Well, you know what? I might get an opportunity. You're not going to get an opportunity if you don't. If your face don't fit. Hard work does not give you a reward within the, the WBC. It just doesn't. Anyway, that's for me. So from now on, um, from January the 1st, I won't be covering any WBC sanctioned bouts, any of them. I will not talk about their fights. And more importantly, I will not be buying a ticket to go to any of their shows. And if they are on TV, then I'll watch the entire card. And when the WBC sanctioned bout is on, even if it's a fight I really, really want to see, I'm going to switch it over. And then I'm going to come back to it once that fight is finished. I hope, I really hope that um, a lot of you guys understand what it is that I want. I'm not trying to be a leader in anything like that, not at all. Let's just start it off. Let's just kick it off and let other people take control of it. We want WBC to listen. Uh, this is not good enough now. It's not good enough. Making too many stupid decisions now. Having too many of their fighters allowed to duck other fighters. There's no enforcement. These guys are too soft. They're happy to show favoritism. They're happy to freeze other fighters out. They, they make stupid decisions without explaining what the decision is. We don't even know if the WBC get a sanction fee for the franchise champion. And if they didn't, it'd be a pretty stupid business move, wouldn't it? But have they just guaranteed themselves a sanction fee going forward every time Lomachenko and Canelo fights? Win, lose or draw, keep on going forward. They'll keep on getting sanction fees. Is it more than what it would be if, it, um, if they were world champion or is it less? I don't know. But these are the kind of things that I think that we have a right to know. Drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video. <laughs>